happy morning children how are you all hope you all fine at home today's class we will discuss some interesting topic in gk for grade 7 okay these topics are related to grammar and language some children let us see the topics one by one see the first topic what is the first topic it is phrases and classes what is called phrases and classes actually it is uh, it contains two sentences okay in this one is incomplete and the another one is complete that is one gives a complete meaning another one it doesn't give a complete meaning okay so in this we have to find phrases and classes okay so in phrases and classes a class give a complete meaning but phrase doesn't give a complete meaning see the first one here mention it the highlighted group of words is a phrase or a class okay see the first one usually accompanying heavy rain thunder is a loud rumble in the sky see the first sentence usually accompanying heavy rain this sentence is not completed so it is a phrase and second sentence thunder is a loud rumble in the sky so it gives a complete meaning so it is a class okay here we have to find which one is phrase and class that is the highlighted sentence whether the highlighted sentence is phrase or class okay see the first one a thunder is a loud rumble in the sky so it is phrase or class it is class okay make a note of it the first one is class and the second one b cleaned the garden thoroughly see b cleaned the garden thoroughly see the highlighted sentence clean the garden thoroughly is it complete or not it is not completed so it is a phrase so make a note of it second one is phrase and the third one look at the third one the new doctor at the hospital it is a highlighted sentence the new doctor at the hospital is very friendly so it is not giving a complete meaning so it is also a phrase make a note of it the third one is phrase and the fourth one i walked for long distances during my stay in the mountains what is the fourth one i walked for long distances during my stay in the mountains is it give a complete a meaning no so it is a phrase so fourth one also phrase and the fifth one cockroaches can breathe through holes in their bodies swimming many weeks without a head sorry surviving many weeks without a head see the highlighted sentence cockroaches can breathe through holes in their body so it gives a complete meaning so whether it is a phrase or class it is a class so fifth one is class and the sixth one see the sixth one the flute a hollow musical instrument is very melodious what is the sixth one the flute a hollow musical instrument is very melodious see the highlighted sentence a hollow musical instrument it doesn't give a complete meaning so sixth one is a phrase and the seventh one cats possess paddle paws that help them walk without making any noise here cats possess paddle paws it is a phrase or class it is a class the highlighted sentence gives a meaning so it is a class and the eighth one goats are vegetarian animals that provides humans much needed nourishment through their milk see the highlighted sentence goats are vegetarian animals it is a phrase or class it is a class why because it gives a complete meaning In the next one see the ninth one my friend is an exceptional athlete who can run without breaking a sweat what is the ninth one my friend is an exceptional athlete who can run without breaking sweat it is a phrase or class it is a phrase and the last one the birds in this tree are very melodious see the highlighted sentence are very melodious is this a 
it is a phrase okay so this is about first topic phrases and classes and the next one is subject verb agreement what is the second one it is subject verb agreement verb agreement in this we have to insert the insert to the correct verb see in the bracket some verbs are given here we have to find or insert to the correct verb okay see the first one what is the first one the shirt or the trousers is or are torn what is the correct verb is or a or e or what is the correct verb it is a or e or so answer will a or e or okay and the second one see the second one the principal along with the teachers scold or scolds the children when they are naughty so what is the correct verb here see the second one the principal along with the teachers scold or scolds the children when they are naughty the correct verb is scolds okay and the third one the committee design or designs the course of action based on every evidence what is the correct verb of this the answer is designs second one answer will the second one designs and the fourth one is for or the pair of scissors shown in order to cut through the wire so oh, what is the correct verb it is is so you have to answer to the verb is and the fifth one my mother with all her pets wants bought bought in the park every day so my mother with all her pets wants bought bought in the park every day what is the correct verb here it is first one w a l k s wants okay and the sixth one see the sixth one neither one of these shirts is bought or fitting you belt so which one come is or or if it is a singular it comes is if it is plural it comes or okay here neither one of these shirts is bought or fitting you belt so what is the answer it is is so answer to the verb is and the seventh one my mother so what is the correct verb here it is bag why because it is plural toys okay so the correct verb is bag w e r e bag and the eighth one see the eighth one everybody sings boss sing melodiously in my class the correct verb is sing everybody sings melodiously Bullies. So, what is the correct verb? It is 
very pretty. So the house amidst all the trees look bar looks very pretty. So which verb will act here? It is looks. So you have to answer the looks. Okay. So this is about verb. And the next topic is root verbs. Here, see for the following verb groups, identify the root verbs and write their meaning. The first one has been done for you. Say, uh, they give one example. With the help of this example, we have to find the root verb and meaning. Okay. See the first one, activity, interact, action. The root verb is look at the words. Good. 
So Radha informed that she would go the next day. Okay. Tomorrow dance speech. Tomorrow the entire dance speech it comes next day. So here comes good and here comes next day. And the second one. See the second one. My research dance be declared dance informed stage. See my research. Will be so. What is the answer? Will will be declared today. Inform search. So in the uh, missing words are will and today. See the reported speech. Search inform that this result will be declared that day. Okay. And the third one. I am cooking pasta for lunch. Declare my mother. So what is the dance speech? I am. Declare my mother. So what will come in the reported speech? My mother declared that she was cooking pasta for lunch. So what will come in the pillar? In the first pillar it is she, yes, K G C, and the second pillar it is was. Okay, my mother declared that she was cooking pasta for lunch. And see the seventh one. What is there in your bag, Grandpa? So in the reported speech, Ali asked his grandfather what was there in his bag. So what will come in the pillars? Was and that. Okay. And the ninth one. What do you want for your birthday? Inkar that. So what will come in the pillars? What do you want? So do you want will come in the pillars? Dad inquired what I wanted for my birthday. It is a reporter speech. Okay. See the eleventh one. Here is the beautiful tree. I was telling you about. Shouted Nina. It is a direct speech. How it will come in the reported speech? See the twelfth twelfth one. Nina shouted that. Dad was the beautiful tree. She was telling her about. So what will come in the first pillars? It is that, and in the second it is she, and the third one it is her. Okay, and the thirteenth one. Now I say how foolish I am. So how it will come in the reported speech? See the fourteenth one. Now I exclaim. I can note that bit. Now I exclaim how foolish he was. So the first pillar it is exclaim. And the second one, he, and the third one, was. And the uh, see the fifteenth one. Wait here till your turn comes. She said, "It is a direct speech." See the indirect speech. She instructed him to wait. They. So what will come in the fillers? They till his turn came. C A Y M E came. Okay. And the seventh, seventeenth one. I have paused. He said, "What is in the direct speech? I have paused." So what will come in the first pillar? It is have, and the second one it is paused. And in the reported speech, it comes. He said that he had paused. Okay. And the nineteenth one. They all dash dash immediately for the say. See the reported speech. My father said they were doing it immediately. So what will come in the direct speech? They are doing it immediately. Father said. So in the first pillar it is doing, and the second pillar it is it. Okay. So this is about direct and indirect speech. And the next one. What is the next uh, topic? It is borrowed words. See, uh, these are not an English words. These are borrowed words. We are using uh, these words. Actually, these are all French, German, and Spanish words. Here, see, read the following words and group them according to their source language in the table given below. So, uh, these are all the borrowed. Words. Here we have to find whether it is French, German, or Spanish word. Okay. See the first one. What is the first word? It is entertainer. What is the first word? It is 
cleaner. It is a trench. And the second one, rucksack. Rucksack is a German word. Rucksack it means a bag with strips. Or called rucksack. It is a German word. Mago. It is a Spanish word. Mago means a strong man. Okay. And kindergarten. Kindergarten is a German word. It is not an English word. We borrow the kindergarten from German. Okay. And fox cause. It is a French word. Fox cause is a French word. And knapsack. It is a German word. Knapsack is a German. And general. General is a French word. It is a general. It is a French word. And mosquito. Actually, mosquito is a not an English word. It is actually a Spanish word. Okay. And the next one, gorilla. See, gorilla also comes from Spanish. Okay. So, it is also a Spanish word. And horse dog. It is a French word. Okay. And the next one, sister. It is a Spanish word and rentis. It is a French word. And the next one, doppelganger. It is a German word. Then, lead motif. It is also a German word. And finally, pasho. It is a Spanish word. Okay. So, these are all borrowed words. Do you know children, the English word like jungle, pyjama, unroot, it is not an English word, we have borrowed from Hindi. Okay. And the next topic is, Pierre has a word for it. Pierre has a word for it. Here we have to identify the terms used for these phobias until the letter. Okay. See, see the first one. Fear of spiders. What is the name of if you are getting fear about spiders now? The name of that is called arachnophobia. So in the fillers it comes R A N arachnophobia. And second one, fear of snakes. It is called ophidiophobia. Fear of snakes are called ophidiophobia. And fear of heights. It is called acrophobia. Fear of height is called acrophobia. And fourth one, fear of failure. Achiphobia. Fear of failure is called achiphobia. And fear of germs it is called mysophobia. Young by so mysophobia. And next one. Fear of birds is called arachnophobia and fear of flying is called aerophobia. Fear of flying is called aerophobia. Fear of small spaces are called claustrophobia. Fear of small spaces are called claustrophobia. C L A U S T R O. Claustrophobia. Okay. So this is about fear. And the next topic is the next topic is spelling success. Here we have to answer to the correct spelling in the given sets of words. See three options are given. A, B, C. Here we have to pick or answer to the correct spelling. See the first one. Accommodate. What is the correct spelling of accommodate? It is A. So what is the you have to encircle the answer A. And the uh, second one, basically, C. A, B, C are given. What is the correct uh, spelling for basically? It is C. So you have to encircle C. And the third one, back one. What is the correct spelling of back one? It is B. So you have to encircle B. And the fourth one, chopper. What is the correct the spelling of chopper? It is B. C H A U F E U R. The correct spelling is B. So you have to insert the 
B. On the fifth one, embaros. What is the correct spelling of embaros? It is A. So you have to encircle A. On the sixth one, fluorescent. What is the correct spelling of fluorescent? It is B. So you have to encircle B. And fourth, what is the correct spelling of fourth? A, B or C? C is the correct spelling for fourth. And the next one, receive. Which one is correct spelling for receive? Eighth one. It is A. So you have to encircle A. And the ninth one, intra. What is the correct spelling of intra? It is C. So you have to encircle C. And the tenth one, liaison. What is the correct spelling for liaison? It is B. And the eleventh one, occasion. The correct spelling for occasion is B. O C C A S A O N. So you have to encircle B. And the twelfth one, para. The correct spelling for a para is G. So you have to encircle G. And the thirteenth one, separate. The correct spelling for separate is C. S E P A R A T E. And the next one, tomorrow. What is the correct spelling for tomorrow? It is G. T O M O R R O W. And the last one, surprise. So what is the correct spelling for surprise? It is G. Okay. So that's all uh, about.